Welcome back to yet another edition at uh, my kitchen, the LRC kitchen. Uh, again, it's going to be a slightly twist of a street road. Uh, you've often heard of noodles, you've had palau. Have you ever thought of having noodles palau? Here's what is going to pan out. The ingredients that I have before me are plain noodles. I have a couple, few vegetables. I have beans, potato, carrot, cut and kept in water. I have a green mix masala pre-ground contains one clove, small piece, a little bit of onion, mint, coriander, green chili. I have some very minimal quantity of garam masala which is bay leaf, cinnamon, sajira and clove. That's all I'm using. I have some fresh mint leaves and salt. I've used a tablespoon of oil. In the masala, as I said, there is garlic, there is onion, there's coriander, there's green chili and a bit of mint. The noodles, the raw noodles that you get in the market, I've boiled water, put off the stove, put the noodles for about two minutes in the hot water, drained the water completely and then added a tinge of oil into it to ensure that the noodles don't get sticky. In this one tablespoon of oil, once the oil is heated, I'm adding the garam masala, which is, as I showed you, some bay leaves, cinnamon, cloves and sajira. I'm adding some fresh mint leaves, You who like uh, the taste of raw onion are free to add some onions also into this at this stage. Now add the masala which is about this quantity. Let the raw smell of clove onion in the mixture go. Till then saute this green masala. Now the cut vegetables, I told you I have potatoes, carrot and beans, which go into this. Sorted the vegetables now. Let it mix well with the ground masala that is there. Now, take the uh, noodle which was, as I said, put in hot water for a couple of minutes and transfer it into this. Most children especially, most people and children in special, love to have the noodles long, but that is a mat it's a mat call of convenience. You're free to break the noodles into smaller pieces if you want. Once again, I'm sauteing the entire content 
over here. As far as possible, I'm ensuring that I don't break the long strands of the noodle. Into this, I add about 300 ml of water, which is equal to the amount of noodles that I have. But while so doing, I'm adding less than 300 ml in the first instance, holding back a bit of the water. To this, I will add about one teaspoon of salt. Now, this entire content will go into the rice cooker. I told you that I've held back some amount of water of the 300 ml. That is to ensure that the entire masala that is sticking in this pan gets transferred into the noodles that are going to be cooked now in the rice cooker. Uh, get the noodles to cook now. So what's getting ready is noodles. Palau. You will notice now that the noodles are ready for consumption. The noodles are ready. What I've done is I've taken a small portion of the noodles, put it into a bread, inside the bread, and put it into a sandwich maker. In case you do not have a sandwich maker, you can still take two slices of bread, toast the bread, put this into it, ensure that they are tightly held and on a tawa you can still make a sandwich with noodles. So finally we have the noodles palau and grilled sandwiches made with the palau noodles. Time for acknowledgements, Ritika, for trying out this dish earlier before I could make it presentable. And uh, my camera crew, Datu and Narendra, and Abhinav for his skill sets on editing the entire episode. Uh, do write back on these uh, innovative or uh, altered paradigms that I'm presenting to you. I'd done uh, another one earlier yesterday, one today. So do write back and tell us how you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. See you later.